First of all, I would like to say, peace be with you. That's what Jesus greets people, you know, uh, all the disciples. Anywhere he goes, he greets, even he goes, empty house, he says, peace be with you. Because if there is no man, there is endless there. So, in uh, uh, Old Testament, it says Shalom. Shalom Aleikum. In, uh, in Islam, in uh, Muslim, we say Assalamu Alaikum. That's the greetings, Salam. You know, uh, so Shalom is in Hebrew. But uh, Islam is peace and surrender. Who want peace? If you surrender to God, he will get peace. And Islam against self sufficiency and idolatry. Because uh, Islam don't support idolatry because uh, it's devil word. So, and self sufficiency because we need always God. We ask always God because we came from Him and there is the guidance and everything He gave us. So, in the, in the whole world, there is about 1.10 billion Muslims and uh, the second largest. You know, Indonesia, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, they are the largest, the largest in Nigeria. And also in European countries like uh, Albania, Macedonia, and a few other, uh, they are Muslim majority there. So, Islam came like 500 years, and Muhammad came 500 years, uh, 570 years after Jesus. So, this is basically a new, uh, message, you know, so Islam is diverse, and it's people who support any particular color, you know, everyone is uh, called, you know, uh, they can be Muslim. So Islam is, the best Islam is, Prophet Muhammad, is the upon him said, who feed the hungry, and who spread the critics, because when we say, when we say, peace be with you, you know, that means I'm harmless. I, um, I can't harm, because I already bless you. Uh, so I can't harm anyone. So uh, he said, spread the greetings. And Islam reformed the world and combat oppression and corruption. Yeah, because uh, these are David words, so it doesn't support. So the revelation the last revelation came Quran. So Quran means recitation of reading. So it is recited by angel Gabriel to Prophet Muhammad. So it came like a 114 chapter and within 23 years uh, the Quran came. So every chapter is start in the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful. And the, it occupied the primary uh, importance behind God is every way of life you have to use the revelation. And Quran is not a new thing, you know, of, uh, for, for the people. Quran came as a, not confusion, confirmation of other books. Came to Abraham, came to Noah, came to uh, Moses came to Jesus, so it support, it confirm all the laws and everything the same. Nothing new added over there. Yeah, because the reason uh, Quran came because God said in the Bible, His word never die, it stay forever. So if people try to add something or do something, then He sent other prophets to support His word. So all the prophets. If God wanted, He could send one prophet and one book. But the reason He gave us freedom to choose the right or wrong. But when we corrupt ourselves, then He sent another message, another messenger, and said, This is the right way. That's why Jesus came in to show the, uh, the Old Testament the right path. You know, He came. Here, Jesus came for a confirmation of Old Testament. That's why Old Testament and New Testament. So, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came all the way last. 
and there will be no prophet after that. Because God said this is a seal prophet and seal last testament. So there will be no prophet coming after that. And these are same laws and same everything. So that's what Quran is. And Muslim means to submit himself to God. They are Muslim. You know, so Jews and Christians refer to as people of the book because we follow the same book, same law, same everything. You know, uh, they receive the same revelation from the same God. So this is nothing. So, and also say Jews and Christians who submit to God will enter into the paradise, the Quran said. Who submit himself to God, then they will go to the paradise. So, Quran said Jesus is a messenger of God, most powerful messenger of God. And also, Muslims believe Jesus is the Messiah, he is the Christ, Jesus Christ. So, he born of the virgin. His birth was a miracle because God sent angels to Mary and said, you will be, you will be a child. And she said, how could be nobody touched me? So, angels say, God is me. He said, be and it is. The same like he had a mother. He says, who's the upper him? He said, he had a mother. But if you see on the top, Adam, he never had a mother, neither father. So God can create anything. That is power. So He can do anything. So in in the John, as I mentioned, chapter twelve, verse forty-nine, He said, "For I have not spoken of myself, but my Father, which <coughs> sent me." He gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. So he represents God for us. He's telling us what is right and what is wrong. So he's a teacher for us. So as a Muslim, we follow the teaching of Jesus. We follow 100 percent the teaching of Jesus from greetings to not eating pork, we never ate pork, we never had alcohol. So that's what we do then. We don't. So also he fasted when he worship, we fasted. And also he fasted, we fast. So a lot of things like that, on everything what he did, we do the same thing. So who are Muslims? You know when God created Adam. So God created Adam first and said he would be introduced with a group of angels. And when they come, you say peace be with you. So when he was introduced, he said, peace be with you. Then the angel said, peace and blessing be with you. So the peace is the first word of Adam. The first word he spoken is peace. So that's what we need in this life is peace. Hereafter we need peace. Then we like we need peace. You know, every single way we need peace. So the peace in Arabic is Salam and from Salam to Islam so the Islam is not Prophet Muhammad he is, he is not founder of Islam he is not founder of Islam and Muslim is nothing new Muslim means who submit himself his will to the will of God they are Muslim so all the people we born in this earth we are Muslim from Adam to now, all the people we are Muslim. But what we know, people are in the Middle East, you know, they are Muslim. In the Middle East, there are only 18% Muslims there in the Middle East. The rest of the 78% is all over the world. So Muslim doesn't mean like I'm Muslim, my son will be Muslim, my grandson Muslim, or somebody, no. Muslim is not like this. Muslim will submit himself to God. So Adam was Muslim, Noah was Muslim, Abraham was Muslim, Moses was Muslim, Jesus was Muslim. You are me, we born in the Muslim. So when we grow, we just follow our father's religion. We was helpless in the womb. Who took care of us? The God, the Creator. We worship the Creator. Who created? And Creator never had any Creator. 
is the creator, will the creation. So the word Muslim means who submit himself to God. If you see the son of Noah, he was a non-believer. He was not a Muslim, although father was the most powerful. And also, if you see Abraham, Abraham, his father was not Muslim, although Abraham is the most powerful Muslim. So that's what, if we follow the guidance of God, you know, all the revelation came from God through angels. And we need to follow, then we can find the right direction. And Jesus, as a Muslim, like we don't see, he said, I am the son of God. He never said in the Bible. He never said, he's the, I'm, I'm the son of God. Although the John, you know, according to John, John said he is the only divine son. So he never said. He's a father. Father could be any way we can call father, God father, and we are sons of God. Yeah, but that's different. But when you have a begotten son, Jesus never said. Even when he was crucified, he never said, I am giving my blood for your sin. He never said in the Bible. So these are the things contradict. That's why God sent revealed the Quran as a confirmation of why he he had a miracle part, you know, Jesus is a miracle, miracle part. And what the purpose of his life and why he came and why he was taken because as a Muslim we we believe he never got crucified. God raised him up and he will come back and he will rule in this earth for 40 days, 40 years. And then he will have a method of that. If God said, Kullu nafsin mouth, every living thing has to die. Every living thing. Jesus never died. So he will come back and he, he will have a method of that. That's what the Muslim do. So these are the Bible and Quran, you know, they are supporting but it's different way. Because when Jesus went to crucify, you know, there was how many people? Only five. There was no more than five and all the women was there. Because if they find the disciple, they will be crucified at the same time. So there was nothing. So these are like a, if you study Bible, you know, you will find everything. Uh, then, how is the Quran used? So it influences your life, the Quran. And it's a uh, Quran, and Quran is 100% words of God. There is nothing like what Muhammad said or third person said. If you read Quran, you will see only God's word. Because it's nothing like uh, uh, New Testament, even Old Testament. Because Old Testament, all the way to the last, you know, you find like only God's word. Because there was written Moses, he lived certain times and he was died and he, 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 he was buried somewhere. So somebody else wrote those. But Quran, by all revealed to Muhammad and all the words and everything same. But the act action and wording of the Prophet Muhammad is totally different. It's called Hadith. It's totally different and the word of God is totally different. The Quran is the words of God and the Prophet. So these are the different. And uh, you know Allah we call Allah. Allah means Ilah. Ilah means nothing but one. You know in Arabic word, God word in Arabic is Allah. Even if, if we are Christian in uh, Middle East, we call Allah. You know, God, Allah. So we call Allah because uh, it is uh, in Arabic. So Allah and God is same thing. You know, the Creator. And how people become Muslim? Only people when declare their faith, there is no God, no associate, but God. And there is no uh, nobody else, all the prophets, uh, Prophet Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah, uh, all the prophet Adam, you know, they are the messenger of God. Then, they, we call them, they are a believer. When they 
how they become a believer when we say there is no God but one and the Creator and all the prophets are the messenger of God then we are not committing any association then we are believers so every one of us as a believer if we don't associate with God so God is eternal creator of the universe God cannot be incarnate or represent in human form uh, so cannot risk idolatry so God is compassion and mercy you know God is compassion and mercy mentioned in the Quran 192 times and also 17 times is wrath and anger so he is mercy more and there is none in God's God and God is forgiving and merciful. God is all knowing and God is loving. So God in the Quran, He said, nothing like Him and He is uh, all the time even there and He will be there forever and everything, whatever you see, the heaven and the earth, everything belongs to Him and uh, nobody can intercede without His permission. And He, he knows our past and he knows our future and uh, also uh, nobody can earn knowledge get knowledge without his permission you know and he's, he's thrown uh, from the heaven and the earth you know he's all over and he never feels fatigued uh, or tiredness to take care of that everything whatever we see so that that is God and oneness, oneness of God. God said in the Old Testament, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. In Deuteronomy 6, 4. And also on Mark 12, 29, Jesus, this be upon him, he replied, The most important commandment is this, Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one and only Lord. So, he always say God is one. That's what Muslims believe, God is one. And in the Quran, the last revelation is say, if they ask about me, say, he is the one and only. And he say, the only one to return to for, for help. He has no child, nor was born from a parent. And he is not like anything else, and there is none like him. So that's the Quran said. So Muhammad, if we are putting him, he mentioned that's what you believe in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy 18:15, and he said, God said to Moses, I will raise up a prophet like yourself, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he will speak whatever I command. So that's foretold of Muhammad and also in, uh, in, the, in the New Testament they say never because, uh, Jesus said never test I tell you the truth let me go if I am not go the comforter or paraclete or Muhammad will not come when he comes he will take out the world of sin because when Jesus was in his heart people call him God because he knows all the miracles God gave him all the miracles so people call him God, but he cursed them. He said, how could be? Because I'm the same flesh like you. So a lot of things like uh, uh, Muslim, they didn't find like authentic. That's why Quran support all the things. And you know, five pillars in Islam. If uh, as a Muslim, there are these five pillars. The first one is believe, faith, declaration of faith, there is no God but God. That's the faith. So how we put faith into action? Jesus said, you know, faith without action is body without soul. So faith we have to put in action. If I declare, oh I know you are the only God. No, we have to follow, we have to be uh, conscious of God. We have to obey the command how you say worship like this so that's what god taught us through messengers this is the way 
in those regards. So, first is declaration of faith. Second is action. Action is five times a day prayer. That's what we do. Five times a day prayer. Each prayer is a combination of two like a dream and story. So, five times a day prayer. So, each prayer, one to another, if there is sin, God forgive. Because we are asking for forgiveness. And we're not going to able to do anything bad if we genuinely, seriously, if we ask for help. You know. So this is the second one, is Salat or called prayer, five times a day. Then, and when we pray, we see each mosque, like if we are east side, we face west. There is a uh, house built by Abraham and Ishmael. So everybody face that. that if we are west, we face, we, we face east. You know, so everybody is facing the Kaaba, the house in Mecca. So that's the house you could go around, you know, we could go up seven times when we visit over there. That's the uh, way we worship five times a day. So, and we post it, submit to him. So, number third is Zakat. Zakat is you know, we have a wealth, we, whatever we can afford. A lot of people, they're unfortunate, you know, they are disadvantaged. We just help them, you know, two and a half percent, whatever our savings, we give to them. Additional, we can give, but we have to give two and a half percent to those unfortunate, you know, don't have uh, food or shelter or anything, we have to give them. This is the third. So, Number four is Siam, is like Ramadan, five ten, oh, uh, 30 days fasting. So, the 30 days fasting in Islam, same like Jesus, you start fasting. Same like uh, Jesus, you know, he always generous. So, fasting is for God, because God knows who is not eating, hiding, eating, you know, so he said he will give us reward. So, fasting, first thing, is spiritual benefit. Because we obey God. The second thing is physical benefit. Because we routine ourselves, you know, we discipline ourselves when to eat and when to not. So we have to desire and everything from God. No water, nothing goes when we fast. So that's the first thing. And third benefit with fasting is social benefit. Because a lot of people, as I mentioned, they don't have anything. Have anything. You know, when their food is coming, we don't know. They don't know. So we have to help as much as possible. You know, and we may say, how could we, with my tiny money, the whole world, you know, people are hungry, how can it be possible to help them? Yeah, but I think about it. There is a story, like hummingbird, there is a forest fire, and he took a tiny bit of water and threw over there. The elephant said, what are you going to do with the, with the whole uh, bushfire, you know? He said, at least I did my part. So these are the things that we have to do our part. So everybody does their part, there will be no hunger, you know, no poor. But we have to do our part. That's the uh, zakat, you know, we, we do. So the social benefit is like, when we feel practically I'm hungry, then we feel like they are feeling a little bit. We know our food is in the, uh, uh, like, uh, down to, down to dust. Uh, then we can able to eat and prepare everything. But those people don't have any food, you know. So we have to think about those people. Then once, number five is once in a lifetime, we just go to Hajj, pilgrimage to Mecca. Not for everyone who can afford with money and who can afford with their health. Health issue, you know, supposed to go. So, because it's a lot of uh, uh, hard work over there. So, we go over there, we see the historical thing of Abraham and uh, Eve and also the house uh, they built. And also, we call like uh, the black stone came when Adam was, uh, Adam came into this earth, the black stone. So, we see those historical things.